Hey everybody, Mrs. Short here with my amazing assistant, Sarah Rufina. <laughs> and today we have a craft for you. We are going to make bird feeders two different ways. And do you want to tell them how the, the uh, conversation about how to make a bird feeder came about? So me and my mom were just lounging in the back and we heard <laughs> lots of different birds. It was fun to figure out which call was which and which bird was making him. That's right. It was the the air was just alive with so many so much bird song and so many different kinds of birds that we started thinking about. You know, how many were back there and and what different kinds were out there and then we decided we wanted to invite them over for dinner. And so we thought we should make some bird feeders. So it doesn't really actually, you don't need a lot to make a bird feeder. Um, we're gonna make one using a toilet paper roll and we'll make another one using a pine cone. And all you need is a little bit of peanut butter and some bird seed. And it doesn't have to be fancy bird seed. We actually got this from our neighbor who's, uh, she, lo she loves to bird watch. And so she makes her own feed out of, um, sunflower seeds and peanuts and she just gives it a puts it in the food processor for a couple of pulses to make the chunks a little smaller um, and we're going to use that to paint our our uh, bird feeders with so what Serafina is doing if you could show the camera is she's painting <laughs> she's using a spatula and painting the toilet paper roll with peanut butter um, and we used one that didn't have a lot of sugar in it um, also by the way really quick if you do make bird seed at home be sure to use nuts and seeds that have not been salted so unsalted uh, sunflower seeds and unsalted peanuts is the way you want to go with it. We don't want to give the birds too much salt because it's not good for them. So unsalted on that for sure. All right, so Seraphine is doing a good job of, of painting that toilet paper roll. Good job with peanut butter. And I'll show you one that we have painted already. This is what it looks like. And we just painted the whole thing with peanut butter. And then you just roll that so easy in the bird seed. And uh, give it a good coating. This is going to be fun. I can't wait to, to hang these up and invite them over for dinner. All right, give it a good coating. And then I used a piece of twine. Oh, can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. I used a piece of twine and all you do is feed that twine through the middle of the toilet paper roll, which is now your bird feeder. I'll let you do yours next, Serafina. Okay. And you tie a little knot in it and then you can hang it from the branch of a tree. And what I like about this one is that the birds can perch on it while they eat. And I would definitely hang it um, high enough or far, uh, far enough out on a branch that hopefully the squirrels won't get it. But um, that's one way to make a really easy, really quick bird feeder. How you doing on yours? Oh, looking good. So just let me show them that you're doing a great job. Just a thin coat of peanut butter all the way around. Let's give this just a little bit right here. Mm. Little empty spot. All right, you want to roll that in the bird seed? Yay! Yay! Yep, you can. And this is okay to get messy. I've got peanut butter all over my hands. You can use both hands, Serpina. Yep, there you go. And give it a good roll. We want lots of seed on there. Pat the seed down. Smash it into the peanut butter if you have to. The peanut butter is okay to give the birds. Again, we used one that was low sugar and uh, low salt, and because uh, we wanted to make sure that we gave them healthy. Healthy peanut butter, all right, sounds good. And then we'll feed, <laughs> that's all right, keep your hands messy because we're gonna make another one. All right, and then you just feed your twine through that roll, tie an end, a knot in the end, and then you can hang it from your, a branch, hopefully near a window so you can watch them eat dinner. Yeah, that's gonna be <laughs> Isn't fun. that cute? Aren't those fun? All right, and then the second way to make a bird feeder is to use a pine cone, and honestly, I think we did this when I was a, Girl Scout, this is where I first learned this one, but you just take a pine cone, we found this in our backyard, and I'll do, I'll start it and then I'm gonna have you finish it, okay? And you just paint a little bit of peanut butter all along the edges of that pine cone. I'll let you finish it. And then Thanks. again, we'll do just like we did with the toilet paper rolls, we're just going to um, roll that in the peanut butter. And they don't need to dry or anything like that, they can just go right out into your garden and maybe I'm gonna hang one in my garden. Maybe we'll hang one outside the kitchen window so we can see who visits us. That's so cool. So uh, when we were researching this project, I'll tell you we had uh, we came across so many crafts where you can use toilet paper rolls. So Serafina and I got a, a little carried away. We were having so much fun, but we started making these little 
um, forest critters. You got it? Okay, I think perfect. So. Yeah. Okay, let's do a little bit on top. Do a little bit right on top there. Hang on, stand by with those forest critters. Talk about those in a second. All right, so we're gonna roll this one. See if you can see that. We've got peanut butter all over the tips of that. And all you're gonna do is roll it in there. Go ahead and do that, Serafina. Did you have a question? Okay. And roll it all the way around. This is a really fun one. I found with this one it was easier to tie the string to the pine cone before we actually rolled it because um, it got a little bit messy um, when we tried to do it after we rolled it in the in the seed. So go ahead. Isn't that cool? Go ahead and drop it. And I'll just and then it just hangs just like this from a branch. What do you think? Cool. Pretty fun. It looks kind of like. A snowball in the camera. Yeah, it does. I think the birds are going to be pretty excited about that. All right, so like I was saying, so we when we were um, looking up how to make a homemade bird feeder, um, there's a lot of crafts online about how to um, make use of empty toilet paper rolls. And so we ended up making these little forest creatures. Do you want to talk about them, Serafina? Sure. So the first one here is my favorite, which my mom made is the owl and yeah. the second one is the fox and the third one is the um fawn a little fawn a with little baby spots deer. on his back uh -huh. right and the um last one is a blue bird or a blue jay yeah so uh this was actually we got we were having so much fun that we just kept going with it but all it is is a toilet paper where you just press the end down so I'll do that here, and maybe don't do this with peanut butter on your hands, but I just pressed one side down, if you can see that, and then press the other side down, and that's what kind of makes the ears. Give them a little point. This one looks like it wants to be a bat. Yeah, and then you, we used uh, acrylic paint. You can use watercolor paint. You could use markers or crayons. Um, we just made all kinds of, like I said, we got a little carried away. We just made all kinds of little critters, and maybe we'll put those in the windowsill to help greet the birds with our bird feeders. And then we also made what, Serafina? We made our binoculars. <laughs> well, if you're gonna be a good birder, you need some binoculars to watch your birds with, right? So <laughs> we just took two toilet paper rolls and I, I hot glued these together. You could also use a, a good bit of Elmer's glue to glue them together, let that dry. And we used acrylic paint to paint these. And this was another fun project. You could even poke a couple holes in there and. Put a string and carry them around your neck if you want while you go birding, right? That's what people do, they go birding. All right, so we have bird feeders, forest critters, and binoculars for you today. What did you think of that? Was that fun? Uh-huh. <laughs> I can't wait to hang these bird feeders in our tree and see who comes to visit us. I hope you have fun too. Let me know what you make. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>